Well, hello and a very warm welcome to Toe to Toe Extra. I'm Andy Scott and joining Barry Jones and myself is the two-weight world champion, Natasha Jonas. Tasha, great to see you. Fresh off your win against Candy Wyatt. Um, all the belts are on the table. Two-weight world champion now. Uh, but oh, in the cool. ring... Yeah, it's a big but. But, <laughs> but in the ring after... I had the opportunity to ask you who you thought might be next. And I gave you a list of names. Um, but the the big one at the end was was Clarissa Shields being asked about you. Um, so I thought it would only be fair for us to have a look at highlights of when uh, the quote came over here and fought Savannah Marshall and just get you to give your take on how you think you might beat her. Okay. Uh, so let's have a look at this one. Um so this was that brilliant night of, of women's boxing topped by uh, this magnificent fight between Clarissa Shields and Savannah Marshall. So just talk us through what you're seeing here, what what you see from Shields that you think you might be able to capitalise on. Um, she, I, I, to be fair, the first four rounds was probably the best first four rounds of a, of a fight I've seen. She was fast, she was explosive and she, you know, she got the crowd on her side really quick. Um, but a lot of the shots are coming like a bent arm. She throws a lot, she throws a lot of punches and bunches. You never really get a lot of single shots from her. But they're, they're all bent on and they, sometimes Sabah's only ducking and they're rolling over. Um, you know, she slowed down a little bit here. But... Yeah, this is probably Savannah's best part of the fight, uh, arguably. Uh... I think she started so fast, it was you, you couldn't have kept that up for 10 rounds. But yeah, she did slow down. Um, I think she said at the end as well that Sab caught her with a shot in the eighth round in, in, her, eye, in, her, in her eye socket. That, that really, really hurt her and kind of buzzed her a little bit. She was such a good amateur. You, you always get the impression that she's probably seen and faced most styles. Is there anything in your style that you feel that is underrated, that people look past, that you could use to your advantage? Yeah, I think I think Barry said it before. My footwork is probably one of the best assets that I've got. It's got to get me in and out of trouble. Um, I think with the, the bigger girls like the care, it was like fundamental in, in not always staying in the same spot. Even with Namus, you know, she was she was so big and lengthy that I couldn't stay in front of her. I had to keep moving round. I think me she talked about um, my shots being slow. But that's what that's why everybody says until they get hit by them. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, they are very accurate no matter what she says. So. Um, yeah, I think my accuracy, my footwork, and yeah, the power shots will come. And I think that would be if you big box Clarissa, then I think it would two things for me it would be the, the feet because you have to come in one way, go out another way. You've got to change the angle of of, of retreat because she 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 punches in blusters of combinations, mm -hmm. so you can't mix it with her. And that's another thing, not to get greedy. So you've got to be thinking, I'm going in to throw two or three, whatever. But commit to that. If it's a false shot, don't take it. Because she's firing, she's waiting to fire back, and she will. Fire. She takes a good shot, and she gets nice and low, Chris, and she rolls underneath really well. But if you're coming in up with straight lines, what what Savannah did, she tried to put pressure on her. You, I'm big, I'm a bigger girl, woman. Impose her size, she but she got it, yeah. too close. And and you said it's all hooks and and shorter punches with Chris, but you have got to keep it nice and long. Now you won't have that advantage of, of the length, maybe you maybe you will actually, but I doubt it. But I mean, your feet your feet can can. Modify that by stepping in, bump, bump, stepping back out, stepping in, bump, bump. Doing a Yusuf, bending down and getting in, slowly creeping in. It would work, it? Thank you. I, I, I'll take all the credit for that if you do that, no. But um, no, but it is true, isn't it? But I think you come in and you bump, bump, and then, you, and then your little pivot and you come out another way. I think not being greedy with your success would be very important. No yeah. one's frustrated, Carissa, yet. See, that's the thing. No, I mean, she's not here to defend herself. Um, but, you know, just to put a little bit of respect on her name, um, nobody's been able to to do it as a as a as a professional, mm -hmm. um, and despite the fact we've shown you those highlights there, that fight wasn't contentious or or close enough for them to do an immediate rematch. She won fair yeah. and square. She was a two time gold medalist as an amateur, um, barring that one defeat to, and that was a contentious defeat to Savannah, depending on who who you listen to. Definitely not if you were there. Depend on who you depend on who you listen to yeah, though. Definitely not. <laughs> depend on who you listen to, time. but. It's, you know, to ask you to say, is there something that she doesn't do very well? She does a lot, right? Oh, she does. Listen, I think she's a great fighter. I do. I genuinely do. Um, I also do think there's only a certain level of fighters at her weight that are at anywhere close to, to being as good as she is. We've had to mix it with a lot of great fighters. You know, look at the, the fighters in and around our weight. You've got Serrano, 
you've got you know Chantal, you've got Katie, you've got yeah, you've got you've got a whole lot of other fighters, Michaela Meyer, and they're all even fighters like Delphine Pursun, who Pursun, was yeah, some crazy detail. Exactly, mm. and there's, there's 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 so many different range of fighters that like we we've, we've kind of yeah we've she's fought it all because but she's always had it like you say always had it her own way. But what happens when she does get frustrated? What happens, you know, when someone hits back? What happens when someone's not there to be hit? I think that's the thing, because she, she can't... The one criticism of her, and there's very few of those, she does get untidy with her work at times. I think, you, know, you said, well, short hooks, but she yeah. does sort of, like, wing wing her punch. She's got a good jab. When she She's got a really it. good jab, and that's something yeah. that goes, like, not unnoticed, but I think her jab's one of her oh, best... As well, isn't it? One of her best assets. It's long, it's quick. Um, but, yeah, I think... I just think... Yeah, she she's done all she's done a whole lot and never argue with anyone. But she has had a lot of it her own way, and she thinks, um, uh, maybe she gets so emotionally involved that sometimes I think that that could be her undoing. And if I flip that and I say that uh, you were the first, I think, first woman to qualify for uh, qualify and represent Team GB in the Olympic Games, brilliant amateur record. Um, yes, you've had your setbacks as a pro, uh, but you haven't had a chance to avenge them. Uh, you're a two-weight world champion. You can punch hard. You've got brilliant fundamentals. You've got a good chin. Put all that together. Can you make a case of, do you think you hit harder than her at relative weights? We'll see. We'll see. Like, uh, so many times. Yeah, she's not a no, she, puncher. She so says she is. So she's always... Yes. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think she's a puncher. I don't think you wouldn't want to take him all day, but she throws too many to be a power puncher because mm-hmm. she, she throws six or seven shots in combination, which is great, but she doesn't hold her feet to really purchase off any of those shots. So she, she might be able to punch, but when she's in the ring, she throws she throws in blusters and, and you, she doesn't hold, there's, there's too many to get any weight in the shots. Do you think you've got an underrated jab for all the positives that we've just given about Clarissa's jab? Underrated jab? Um... Yeah, I've got a good job when I use it. Sometimes I've been guilty of just throwing the backhand because it lands. Yeah. So I, I'm using it now though because you're using your you, you're bringing it with your feet. Yours goes with your feet. Your jab. Yeah, yeah. I think I think me body shots I've got and the variety of shots that I use is like a little bit undetected because I, I do switch it up. Like I've so relied on certain shots for for so long, but now I do mix it up. I go head body and I, I can mix it up and put them together well. I would have thought some of these clips are going to make their way to her social media timeline. Uh, I to think what she's going to say. Well, I don't think she's going to be too happy. <laughs> she's, never, she's never happy. I said she boxed brilliant and she still kicked off. So she's never happy. If I said she was the best boxer in the world, she'd, she'd still have something to say. Oh, you, you duck me, you did it. I, 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 there's nothing I can say that can please that girl. So but it works I'm not her. really bothered. That, yeah. that, that gives her the edge. Yeah. Oh, do that chip on your shoulder, you need it. Like Some, some fighters don't need it and most fighters do need it. Okay. Josh Taylor's one that needs it. Yeah. He's another one. Yeah. Yes, the like me against the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I. Uh, if I could leave it on this, you, no one knows really how how many stops are left on this train journey for you. It could be, you know, we've done, we've had this conversation. It could be we're nearing the end of the line. I'll say that. <laughs> Maybe, but we were nearing there perhaps a few years oh, ago. Gosh, we've, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I've gosh. been nearing there since 2012. I think. It, was, it, it was just beating on. It was just saying you're old. That's what it is. It's disgusting. No, I'm not. I'm certainly not saying it, Barry. I'm certainly not saying it. But if you know, you, you got a chance here. You would probably think to have one or two big fights before you do go. Would this one be near the top of the list? Imagine beating Clarissa. Well, imagine. imagine. But when have you had a, like, you ever had a tough fight? The, the, the training's had. When was your last tough fight? The Physical. Care was tough. Physically, the care was tough. Was it? Yeah. That was the only time I've ever look... seen what I, I think I said to you at the time. I've never seen you look uh, tired in a fight. And I've never seen like, uh, any sort of red flags or anything like that but that was the first time I thought that Joe had to just keep you composed in the corner yeah, you know yeah. count them down there's a, there's only a few to go here she was she well she was never winning the fight she she yeah, was big yeah I was comfortable just... in the sense that I knew I was ahead but physically like you, you know what it's like I, I, I use this example all the time he probably hates me but I mean you can't people say you've, you've got no chin you've got no chin you've got no chin and I was two best assets was his feet and his, his speed of hand yeah and what when everyone's saying you've got no chin, you've got no chin, he started standing there and trading with, and the inevitable would be happening, and he'd get hit and you know potentially lose the fight. But so what happened was she, she'd said, 
I'm too big, I'm too strong, I'm too big, I'm too strong, I'm too big, I'm too strong. So, I, again, like I said, we've been working on getting fast starts because it's cost me Taylor, cost me um, Harper. Yeah. So, we've been working on that and we've got a great start against Namus. We've got a good start and we crest with Bergolt, but we had to get a good start. But I also, in that start, because she was saying that, I had to make her respect me because she was bigger. And I had to make sure that she hesitated or thought twice about coming in because every time she came, I was going to hit her hard. And then we said before about, yeah, you get used to that. So then, but but I had to make her yeah. at least think about it before. What, what's the Joe Gallagher phrase? Put manners on her. You put manners on her, yeah, yeah. that's it. So then um, when, we, when we'd when done that, it got to about round four or five that she adapted to that. And then she started to like be physical and then she started, she, uh, there was one point that she like threw me around. And I was thinking, who does she think she is? <laughs> like, she, if she thinks she's ragdolling me because she yeah, thinks yeah, she's yeah. bigger, that's not going to happen. So then I started to, to like tussle with her and I was trying to throw her and then we just was leaning on each other and then I'd spin and, and, and all that. And Joe, when we got back to the corner, Joe was like, what are you doing? Like, what are you yeah. doing? But that was that was me thinking, you think you can do that? That's not going to happen. Yeah, I'll but beat that, you I'll beat you at your yeah, own game as I'll well. I'll beat you at your own game. But that was just like a bit of a, a ego thing. And that's why Joe was like, no, 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 let's get back to what we were supposed yeah. to do. And that's where he brought me back in line. And But that's again, I, I want a good coach, but knowing your fighter, because he, he could see that I was thinking, it's not a chance she thinks she can just ragdoll me everywhere. I'll show her. But then I was going against the game plan, what we what we'd worked on. So yeah, he had to put me back. And... But my my whole point was the wear and tear factor. So like, there's no like physical wars where you're getting bashed up and winning. Like some Katie Taylor's had some great fights. Yeah. Some of those fights, like that the Serrano fight was a fight we go. She don't come back from that. Understandable. Will she ever be the same again? Pursue. I was going to say Pursuit, Pursuit. yeah. Pursuit two, one and two. Both of them. Yeah. One and two, definitely. Yeah. Which is an argument whether she won both of those. But either way, what I'm saying is, but either way, though, their fights, you go, oh, I don't know. Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, she, yeah, yeah. She's, a, she's an enigma because she's, you know, she just, it doesn't affect them, it seems. But either way, you just think, where? Well, why do you have to finish? That's what I'm trying to say. Why do you have to finish? If you're fresh, you keep going. It's easy for me and Barry over there. Let me just finish on this. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks. You've earned all these belts. Uh, whatever's next, we're looking forward to it. Have a, have a little break. Um, but that is it for this week's episode of Toe to Toe Extra. Make sure you join us next week for more special boxing guests. Sky Sports. Feel it all.